and welcome to Jurassic Reviews. On this episode, we finally resume the look at the Kenner Series 2 Jurassic Park line, and that figure we are looking at is the Tanning Strophius. This figure was released in 1994, and included capture gear and a collector's card. Its JP mark can be found on its leg. This one's number is 13. First, let's take a look at the sculpt. This figure, when fully extended, is about 16 inches long. This is another animal that did not make an appearance in the films or novel, and is also not a dinosaur. And I think I always say this, but I loved when Kenner would introduce new animals to their lines, just like Mattel is doing nowadays. I can't say I'm an expert on this creature, but just from looking at illustrations and pictures of the fossils, this figure is surprisingly accurate, at least in its overall body shape. The teeth and head shape are probably the most inaccurate parts, along with its constricting action feature, which I didn't see mentioned anywhere on information on this animal, but otherwise the general shape of it is correct. Feel free to share any information about this thing in the comments. I always love learning new things about different ancient animals. This figure has some pretty nice detail on it, with little scales displayed throughout the body. The pattern sort of changes in the middle of the body, with this area being made of a hard plastic, and the head and tail being rubber. From its head and all the way to its tail, there's a small row of spikes, as well as this vein looking detail on both sides of the body. You can also see and feel its ribcage. Looking at the head, its skull shape is a little bizarre, and its teeth are so huge that the mouth cannot be closed. There's also some smaller teeth in there as well, and its tongue, which is really subtle. One thing I need to point out about this figure is that it's really fragile, much like the Coelophysis from the Series 1 line. It's hard to find open figures that are not damaged. The rubber material tends to rip easily, especially since the action feature is all about bending it. The action feature for this figure is called Constrictor Neck Attack. They were definitely trying to go with a snake theme with this toy, even giving the nickname to it as Cobra, despite Cobras not constricting their prey, at least in most cases. The feature does work pretty well though, much better than the Coelophysis, that shares the same action feature. It has a much longer body, allowing it to actually wrap around other figures. Again, just be careful with it though, as this feature can result in damage to the figure itself. Moving to the paint, it's made up mostly of light green and dark green. The light green covers the bottom half of the figure, and the dark green the top. The only area that has some variance is on the head, which features white teeth, black eyes, and a pink tongue. The pink paint on the tongue on mine is hard to make out due to the paint wear. Like the damage to the rubber is another thing commonly found on this figure. Again, drawing similarities with the Coelophysis, this figure's action feature lends itself easily to having paint loss, especially on the neck and tail. The one I have shows this pretty well, with a good amount of paint missing. As far as articulation, there's the previously mentioned neck and tail, which use a bendy wire, and its four legs, which each can be moved back and forth. This figure does have some balancing issues, mainly if you have the head positioned to either side. The Tannis Trophius would be repainted twice, starting in the Chaos Effect line released in 1998. This figure was renamed to Tanaconda, as its DNA is supposed to be a combination of Tannis Trophius and an Anaconda. Despite this name change, the sculpt is the same, only the paint is different. The paint, like the rest of the Chaos Effect line, is much crazier than the original release. It now sports a tan and darker green, as well as some black and orange looking spots that go along the top of its body, neck, and tail. The head on this one features white teeth, white eyes, and a red tongue. My figure is a good example of both paint loss and damage, with the teeth on mine being broken. I actually have a box version that makes for a good comparison.
The other release for this figure would be in the Walmart exclusive Jurassic Park Dinosaurs line released in 1999. This figure was released as part of the second wave of that line, so it's a bit harder to find. I actually got this one when I was little, but luckily I seem to not really like playing with it, as it's in really good shape. The paint, like other Jurassic Park dinosaur figures, is not too exciting. The majority is a dark green, but it has black paint that runs underneath its neck, belly, and tail. There's also some lines of brown paint that go from the top of its head to the tail and some black spots found in various areas around the figure. The head features white teeth and yellow eyes, and the tongue on this one is unpainted, remaining the same green color as the body. In terms of rarity, I would say all three of these are pretty uncommon, and can be had for similar prices. Any of them in good shape could go from 30 to 40 loose, and 50 to 60 in their boxes. There is a chance that the Jurassic Park Dinosaurs one could go for a bit more, as it was part of that harder to find second wave of that line. Like always though, you could find these for more or less. Before I give my rating for this figure, here's a comparison with other figures. Here it is with a Kenner 4 inch human and a Mattel 3 and 3 quarter scale human. Here it is with a Velociraptor. Here it is with the Utah Raptor. And finally, here it is with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. For a rating out of 10, I give all three of these a 7.5. You can't really go wrong with any of them, so if you want a slightly more exciting paint job, I'd say go with the Chaos Effect version. The action feature works well enough, just be aware that finding one in good shape might be somewhat difficult. It's an interesting addition to the Jurassic Park toy line, and definitely sticks out when on display. I recommend this one. And that does it for the Series 2 Tanny Strophius. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.